Oh, hello boys and girls. Um, welcome to the basement, otherwise known as Steve's Lube Lab. Um, a lot of, I get lots of letters wondering why, where I am and uh, when I'm doing these uh, videos. And uh, this is the basement. This is a boring part of the basement. It's just a white room that I, I have. Um, I haven't put anything up on the walls or painted or anything. Um, mostly because I'm lazy, but I like to call it my Zen room because it sounds good instead of saying I'm just lazy. <laughs> it's where I go to do these videos and to be alone while I um, talk to my friends in my head. Oh yes, I went to a, a psychiatrist um, the other day about the voices in my head and he told me that I don't have a psychiatrist. So I guess if anybody knows a good psychiatrist, I mean, I could use one. Anyways, uh, well, yesterday, yesterday we had uh, a very good day, boys and girls. I only got one incorrect, so that's two times in a row, I believe. It was one incorrect. I'm hitting that 90 percentile all right. Um, I'm not very good at just about anything there is to have to be good at in the world but this. That's the only thing I'm good at. And you know what? I make zero dollars at it. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. I am awesome. <laughs> Anyways, let's get to our picks today, shall we? Um, we, to, we have the pen. First off, we have the Pens and Rangers. Now, the Pens just got shellacked by Chicago uh, the last time they played at home yet. Now, I, you would figure they'd be right pissed here. Um, it, I, I don't like this game. I would avoid it. Uh, um, I wouldn't play it if I was playing Sports Select or whatever you play at all because the Rangers have been playing a little better. Um, I'm, I really have. It's a coin toss. I'm taking the Rangers 3-2 just because they're at home, but I could easily see the Pens winning this one. The Devs and Isles, Islanders have just looked like crap. Um, Dougie Waite was, came in and boosted their, uh, got them going uh, when he first, the coaching change happened and he had, they were had them rolling at a pretty good pace. But it seems that they've just gone back down in the tank. Um, they don't have, they don't, not playing with confidence and they don't have a strong roster at all. I actually picked them to be one of the last in the league. So they've done a little better than that. But uh, um, I just have a feeling that the dev Devils, who also are not playing well, are going to take this one. Um, it's almost going to be like a who can lose it game. Um, either one could win, but I'm going to take the Devils 2-1. Uh, Jackets, Hawks. Uh, the Jackets played last night. Uh, that was the one game that I actually was wrong about. I had the Jackets taking the Hurricanes. I can't see the Jackets on the road or no, on the road playing last night, um, beating the Hawks. This uh, they are the Blackhawks are playing unbelievable. Joel Quinville, if it's not uh, if it's not uh, um, Tortorella this year. Um, or possibly Boudreaux. I think Joe. This is. I think Joel Quinville deserves a, a coach of the year this year. There's several candidates that you could pick and you could make an argument for, but he's taken a college roster, and I know they've got a great core, but it is getting older. Um, it's not. They got a lot of college kids on there, and it's been a lot of patchwork. And he's done an amazing job. He's an amazing coach. Um, I'm going to say Hawks five three. Um, the Sharks, or sorry, Blues and Avs, um, this is actually a tough one. Uh, Avs are at home, they, they, all the pressure is off of them, but their confidence has looked really low. Uh, Blues have been playing well. I'm going to say the Blues, but 3-1, to one, I don't think it's going to be a blowout or anything. Uh, Sharks and Flames, the Sharks have just looked slow. They've looked really, really slow. Um, I, it's, uh, Thornton seems to have lost his legs and he never had much legs to begin with. Um, they're playing hard, but they just don't have it. Um, I'm concerned for them in the playoffs, honestly. 
Um, the Flames, on the other hand, are playing bad at all, and uh, Kachuk is back. Um, I loved watching Kachuk in that LA game, even though they lost. Uh, but he can be a distraction at times, and he's got to watch out for that. But I think there'll be no distraction here. I think the Flames will win, but I'm going to say three two because the Sharks are playing, are playing, trying to play for their pride right now. Uh, not because they're missing the playoffs, but they have to, so they can feel like they have some pride going into the playoffs. Kings and Canucks. Um, the Kings won against the Flames four to one. I think it was last. Was it last night? Um, or was it the night before? It might have been the night before. But uh, I'm going to take uh, the Canucks on this one, actually. They got the young legs. The Kings have been on the road for a while. Um, I just have a feeling they're going to pull it out. Uh, I'm going to say 3-2. And the Caps versus the Yotes, well, I mean, the Yotes can always do something, but I got to go with the Caps on this one by probably a fair margin, 4-1, uh, to one, even though it's on the road. Um so let's hope I can keep my 90 percentile running. Um, well, boys and girls, uh, there's uh, the, for the playoffs that are coming up, I'm going to be doing some, of course, predictions of those. I'll I'll have you I'll give you fair advance though. Um, I have a I do really well in the regular season, but sometimes I struggle in the playoffs, uh, mostly because my heart gets in the way of my head a little too much, but. I'm going to I've, I'm going to be spending a great deal amount of time with my life coach. I'm searching for a new spiritual advisor, but I'm doing so well without a spiritual advisor or a creator. Actually, I haven't even been dialing into a creator lately that I may just go solo again. I tried that already before and it worked really well. But the thing is, this the creator keeps on calling me up and then asking, like, where are you? I miss you and everything. And... Next thing I know, I'm talking to him again, and there we go, right? And that's the way it usually is, isn't it? Anyways, boys and girls, that's my full 42. Uh, make sure you stay well lubed. I don't know why I don't have any... Just one sec. I got a nice big bottle of it here. Jaime's Body Lube. Make sure you're keeping yourselves lubed, boys and girls. We don't want any chafing. Lots of love to you.